Okay, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. One of the things that I miss most about the, the, the presidential run of Donald Trump was seeing Donald Trump in action. Guys, let, let's just take a look at this. ...for you to be here today. You have pushed false claims about some of your rivals, from Nikki Haley to former President Barack Obama, saying that they were not born in the United States, which is not true. You have told four congresswomen women of color who were American citizens to go back to where they came from. You have used words like animal and rabbit to describe black district attorneys. You've attacked black journalists, calling them a loser, saying the questions that they ask are, quote, stupid and racist. You've had dinner with a white supremacist at your Mar-a-Lago resort. So my question, sir, now that you are asking black supporters to vote for you, why should black voters trust you after you have used language like that? Well, first of all, I don't... Well, first of all, as a as a black as a black person that is that that's 99.99% likely to vote for Donald Trump this upcoming election i just want to say that i don't entirely agree with your framing of that i just don't you're trying to to ask or try to hold him accountable for things that he said right so things that he said in re uh, reference towards black women, right? But this is this is this is uh, the tool that the left uses to manipulate people, right? And you see it with other groups too, specifically groups like the, the Hebrew Israelites, but they use it in their own way. It's reverse racism at its finest, guys. But let's let's stay focused. Donald Donald Trump has said things about people, right? Nobody's disputing that, but the idea, the framing of it, that he said it to them based off a of race, you can't hold them accountable for that if more than likely. See, I follow a framework when it comes to making decisions or speculation. I go with Occam's razor, right? Occam's razor says that when faced with two with two different choices, basically, you choose the one with the with the least resistance. You choose the one where you have to make the least the the least amount of guesses and logic, the least amount of justification. That means that, yeah, guys, it might just be that Trump didn't agree with what those women said, and it might not be that he's racist and has something against black people like people like to paint it. And, and, and pretend and honestly I'm sick of it I'm sick of it because at the end of the day this person this woman she don't speak for me she don't speak for me and she doesn't speak for people that think like me that think similar to me I'm just saying I don't agree with your framing as a black who is going to vote for Donald Trump I don't think I've ever been asked a question so in, in such a horrible manner, a first question. <laughs> you don't even I say, don't. hello, how are you? Are you with ABC? Because I think they're a fake news network, a terrible network. <laughs> and I think it's disgraceful that I came here in good spirit. Uh, I love the black population of this country. I've done so much for the black population of this country. Uh, if anything, more than the Democrats, at least, I'll give them that. I'll give them that. Including uh, employment, including uh, opportunity zones with Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina, which is one of the greatest programs ever for uh, black workers and black entrepreneurs. Uh, done so much, and, you know, and I say this, uh, Historically, black colleges and universities were out of money. They were stone cold broke. And I saved them and I gave them long term financing, and nobody else was doing it. I think it's a very. HBC, everybody knows that HBCUs are, yes, they're broke. It's a fact. Look it up. <laughs> remember, the, remember the Coach Prime incident? They broke. Sorry. A rude introduction. I don't know exactly why you would do something like that. And let me go a step further. I was invited here and I was told my opponent, whether it was Biden or Kamala, uh, I was told my opponent was going to be here. 
it turned out my opponent isn't here. You invited me under false pretense. And then you said, you can't do it. And this is the thing I miss, because Trump does not, Trump, Trump is a celebrity. He was a celebrity at one point. So he knows how to, you know, he, he knows how to deal with the media. And that's what I miss. I miss seeing this. I'm going to be honest with you. I love to see it. It's entertaining. It's entertaining. Because he's right. The woman, what kind of question was that? Under good faith. You know what I mean? I'm just, I'm just saying. It's, uh. With Zoom. Well, uh, you know, where's Zoom? She's going to do it with Zoom, and she's not coming. And then you were half an hour late, just so we understand. I have too much respect for you to be late. They couldn't get their equipment working or something Mr. was President, wrong. I, would love I think if you it's can a very nasty question. Well, I, I have answered the question. Trust you with another I have years. been the best president for the black population since Abraham Lincoln. Better That's than, my answer. Better than President Johnson who signed the Voting Rights Act. And for you to start off a question and answer period, especially when you're 35 minutes late because you couldn't get your equipment to work, in such a hostile manner, I think it's a, a disgrace. I let really me, do. Let I me just ask a, a follow-up, sir, and then we'll move on to other questions here. Uh, some of your own supporters, including Republicans on Capitol Hill, have labeled Vice President Kamala Harris, who is the first black and Asian American woman to serve as vice president and be on a... Black-ish. She's black-ish. ...major party ticket as a DEI hire. Is that acceptable language to you? And will you tell those Republicans and those supporters to stop it? How do you, how do you... Do what kind of question is that? What do you mean? Like, do, do, does anybody else not realize? See, this is the thing. People always love to respond to how people react to the question. But do y'all ever actually think about these questions that you ask? Maybe they warrant a reaction. I'm just saying. That's, that's a stupid. How are you going to control what other people that support Donald Trump say? Did Donald Trump himself say it? Let him at least say it and hold him accountable for what he says. And then hold them accountable for what they say. It's just silly. Define DEI. Go ahead. How do you define Diversity, it? equity, inclusion. Okay, yeah. Go ahead. Is that what your definition? Give that me is, a, that, that is give literally the Give me a definition the then. Would you give me a definition DEI. of that? Give me a definition. Sir, of that. I'm asking you a question. No, no, a you very have to direct define question. it. Define the define it for me if you I would. I just defined it, sir. Do you believe that Vice President Kamala Harris is only on the ticket because she is a black woman? Well, I can say no. I think it's maybe a little bit different. So, uh, I've known her a long time indirectly, not directly, very much, and she was always of Indian heritage, and she was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black and now she wants to be known as black. So I don't know, is she Indian or is she black? She is always but identified you know as a black woman. I respect she went to a historically black one. college. But I find that wherever I go and I Okay, so what we're gonna cook today Okay is Let's just let's just get the context. An Indian recipe. Yes. Because yes. you are Indian. Yes. yes. Okay, and okay. I don't know that everybody knows that. But I find that wherever I go and I see Indian people, the uh -huh. supermarket, on uh -huh. the street, everyone's like, you know Kamala Harris is Indian, right? It's like our <laughs> thing we're so excited about <laughs> to have you running for president. Yeah. So we're both Indian, yes. but actually we're both South Indian. Yes. Um, you look like the entire ha one half of my family. Okay, thank you. You do. I've been telling people you we're do. related already, yeah. so this is uh -huh. perfect. It's basically <laughs> true. Uh, and so were you raised eating South Indian food? South Indian food. White dudes. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. Proof is in the pudding, guys. <laughs> I respect either one, but she obviously doesn't because she was Indian all the way, and then all of a sudden... Anybody can find me a video of Kamala Harris declaring that she's black or speaking on her blackness before she, before she was running for president. Yeah, I'm, I'll admit I was wrong. I'll take it back. She made a turn, and she went... She became a black person. Just to be clear, sir, do and you I believe think, that she is... I think somebody a... should look into that, too, when you ask a continue in a very hostile, nasty tone. It's a direct question, sir. Do you believe that Vice President Kamala Harris is a DEI hire, as I, some Republicans I really have don't said? Know. I mean, I really don't know. Could be, could be. There are some, and there are uh, plenty. I know this lady right over there, Harris, is a fantastic person who just interviewed me at length. <laughs> And we had a great interview, I think, and I heard you got very good ratings on that Well, interview. you told me it was the longest one of your life, so <laughs> we had a good discussion. Look, I, I want to talk about why you're here today. 
I mean, it is not lost on us how. I gotta say it, guys. It's just, it's just funny to see. It's like, here we go again. That's all. I mean, that's all I can really. That's all I can really say about this. Here we go again. But guess what? I mean, Joe Biden could never. <laughs> Joe Biden could never. Kamala could never. Word salad ain't gonna save you from this. Word salad not gonna save you. 